Hi there, this is a video about controlling CD or DVD drive spindle motors and these motors come in two types, they're censored and sensorless and this is about the censored motors and with these ones you've basically got three Hall effect sensors which give a position indication of the motor and you've got three windings which are the three phases and using the position given to you by the Hall effect sensors you can basically determine which phases that you need to drive in order to run the motor nice and smoothly. Now, um, so what I've got here is a PIC 18F and that's connected to an L298 and that's a um, bridge driver I see. It's basically got four half bridges in it and I'm using three of those and they're driven by PWM um, from the PIC 18F and here we've got um, it's actually a DVD-ROM motor and that is connected to well the Hall effect sensors are connected to um, this quad op amp chip and that's reading the outputs from the Hall effect sensors and that's being read in by the PIC and when you're choosing an op amp for this application make sure that you use one which um, it can run off 5 volts and also um, that it's got um, rail to rail capability because that will uh, simplify your circuit right uh, let's see what I'll do now is uh, increase the speed by adjusting this pot and so that's increasing the PWM level really moving that. You can obviously decrease the speed by adjusting the part the other way. And depending on what you do with the values you read from the Hall effect sensor, um, you can reverse the motor. One thing to note about this motor is it does run forward better than it does backwards. Uh, on the scope the uh, top trace is from Hall Effect Sensor A and the bottom trace is I think the PWM A signal for the A phase. So um, that's about it really. Um, so what I'll do is I'll actually let's put that in full speed and I will stop the motor. I'm going to put that on full speed. One thing to note about these L298s, they get hot very quickly if you drive them at more than a, um, an amp or so. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.